continuing with different angle theorems about the circle. So the next one is to do with cyclic quadrilaterals. And the opposite angles in a cyclic quadrilateral are always supplementary. So add up to 180 degrees. To prove that one, what I'm going to do is I'm going to join in two radii. So A to O and C to O. And then I'm going to use the theorem from yesterday. AOC would end up being twice alpha because the angle at the centre will be twice the angle at the circumference. But if I look at it the other way and use the reflex angle AOC, I can say, well, hang on, this reflex angle AOC would be equal to 2 beta. Same reasoning. Well, I know that those two AOC angles have to form a, a revolution, so 360 degrees. So the two added together, 360, divide by 2, and there we have it. The alpha plus the beta is 180 degrees. So there's the proof of our um, opposite angles in the cyclic quad theorem. It does bring up a notation. You'll notice the reflex. What we tend to assume, if we don't write the reflex on there, then we're talking about the acute or the obtuse angle. If we want to highlight, hey, it's the reflex angle that I'm talking about, then I would write reflex there. Uh, similar with uh, segments and sectors. We always assume it's the minor. And if you want to talk about the major, then we would actually call it the major segment or the major uh, sector. Okay, next one, also on cyclic quads. Okay, let's draw the picture up. The exterior angle of a cyclic quad. So the exterior angle will always equal the opposite interior angle. I don't think I bothered with a proof for this one, but I can explain it very quickly. We just proved that the opposite angles add up to 180. But we also know that these two angles on a straight line add up to 180. So therefore, BAD must be the same as, as DCX. So that would be a very quick proof if we did have to do that one. It's surprising, and I guess similar to the exterior of a triangle, how many people forget this one, and they do it via two steps, and go, oh, angles on a straight line, and then use the opposite angles. I mean, that's the point of this theorem, is to save doing that two steps. So angles subtended at the circumference by the same or equal arcs, I'll explain the difference between the two in a sec, are equal. And again, you could exchange the word chords with arcs, because when we're subtending, remember, we're just going from two points to a third point. So the end points of the arc are the same as the end points of the chord. So if I wanted to show, and I'm going to prove ABD is the same as ACD, the reason I write down is angles in the same segment. Because if I was to draw the chord in, it would break the circle up into two segments. And what we're saying is these angles are in the same segment. They're both in the major segment. So let's prove it. Well, once again, I'll draw a couple of radii in. Using the angle of the center twice the angle of the circumference. So I know AOD would be twice ABD. But it also would be twice ACD. Because they're both coming from the arc or the chord AD. Well, therefore ABD and ACD must be the same. Because the angle at the centre is the same angle at the centre. Alright, so 9C. Oh, I said I'd explain what I mean by same or equal arcs. We most commonly see them coming from the same one. But it, they could come from different arcs as long as those arcs are of the same length than the angle. So there's my circle and I've got a chord here and a chord there but we know those chords are of the same length. Then if I subtend that one to the circumference and I subtend the second one those angles have got to be the same. So it doesn't actually have to be the, the same arc or the same chord, but the chords have to be equal in length. So as long as it's the same size, then we know those angles are the same. In fact, they could be in two completely different circles. As long as the radius of the circle is the same and the length of the chord is the same, they will create the same angle in, in both circles. So that's why 
in the actual theorem it's the same or equal arcs. Most commonly we do see them coming from the same one.